Mr. Moore, your car was stolen. Yes, ma'am. That was a 1995 Pontiac Grand Am. Yes, ma'am. How long had you had it? I had it three years. And the car turned up right across the street from Mr. Padilla's auto body shop. Yes. And it turned up how much after it was stolen? I'm not exactly sure how long it turned up at his body shop, but I have the police report according to the police report. On what date did you report the car stolen? July 1st, 19, uh, 2015. And on what date, Mr. Padilla, did this person come in to try to sell you the car? Maybe around the uh, 18th or so. I'm not quite sure. It of be. July? Of July, yes. Now, when he came in to sell you this car, you had never seen him before. No, I have not. But according to you, he offered to sell you the car for a very cheap price, for $1,000. $1,000, yes. So that aroused your suspicion. Yes, Your Honor. Right? Yes. So you said, I'm not going to buy the car from you. but. Before you declined his offer, I assume if you're a businessman, you went out to look at the car. Yes, I did, Your Honor. According to your answer, he drove the car up to your shop. Yes. So it was running. It was running. And then you said you saw him, so I read your answer carefully, when you said, I don't want to buy your car, you saw him park the car across the street from where your shop is, get out of the car, waited a few minutes, Somebody came to pick him up. Yes. And then the car was just left there. Yes, Your Honor. Now, when Mr. Moore's car was found, Mr. Padilla, it wasn't in drivable condition. Someone had stripped it down. Is that correct, Mr. Yes, Moore? Yes, ma'am. Taken out all the whatever parts you could possibly use for something else. And Mr. Moore thinks that you're responsible for that. You may not be responsible for stealing his car. He doesn't know that. Right? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. But Mr. Moore thinks that you're responsible for stripping it down. And he has somebody here with him who's a witness, because you said, I never went into the car. Right? Now, I'm just guessing, maybe I'm wrong, that this is the person who saw Mr. Padilla in your car? Yes, ma'am. This is the witness that flagged the officer down. May I see the police report? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand what your problem is, Mr. Padilla? Yes, Your Honor. All righty. Tell me your name. Uh, Eddie Lopez. Mr. Lopez, do you live close to where Mr. Padilla's shop is? No, at one time I had a tow truck service there, uh, you know, tow service. And I would get in my truck and, you know, go do pickup cars, stuff like that, come back. Sometimes from his shop? Or no, 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 no. Uh, right next door at a 1531 uh, in Huntington Beach. So you pass his shop? Yes. I'd like you to tell me what you know, if anything, about Mr. Padilla doing work or doing something on Mr. Moore's car. Yeah, well, prior for the car being out there, when they found it, the police, after I, you know, flagged him down and said I had seen the car. You flagged down the police? Yes, well, they seen the police by the car. And I flagged down the officer, tell him that I had seen the car prior to being out there on the parking lot of uh, Mr. Padilla's business. For how long did you see it on the lot? Uh, got a few days before, on and off before that, you know, out there, that seen people working on it and stuff like that. I thought so, they were just fixing it at first. So you saw it actually on his lot and people working on it. Is there anything in particular about this car that drew your attention to the car? Uh, the, the chrome wheels that it had on first. There was chrome wheels on it. When the car was put out in the street, did it have the chrome wheels on it? No, it didn't, ma'am. So the chrome wheels were taken off? Yes. Are you familiar with the people that Mr. Padilla has working for him? Not really, because what I do, I just, I get a call, jump on my tow truck, take off, and come back. I really don't... Do you know Mr. Padilla? No, I've seen him around the business, but no, not really. Thank you. You can sit down. This man has no particular axe to grind. He says the car was on your lot. People were working on it. And when he first saw the car, what drew his attention to the car were these great wheels, which it didn't have when it was put out on the street, Mr. Padilla. Explain that me, to me. Yes. Um, first, uh, the person here, Mr. Lopez, he is lying. He does not uh, have been at that building since December, uh, actually, of 2014, all through 2015. And there has not been anybody with the tow company in that building. He's lying, Your Honor. He's lying. 